Hey guys and welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create the simple but kind of funny looping animation of this walking shoe. Now this animation is pretty simple to create so watch this video till the end to learn something cooler and as always if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all I am in Photoshop now I have this shoe over here I got this from freepick.com link and attributions are available in the description so you can do check it out or you can choose any other image of shoes whatever you want and this animation is also useful for your product animation kind of thing so you can implement this technique and this animation there also okay so let's start properly now I don't want this white background over here so now for that what we need to do we need to separate this shoe from this background so let's go to the select option and i am going to click on this subject so now it will automatically select my subject now press shift f6 to open the feather settings i mean feather selections and i'm going to choose value 1 and hit ok press ctrl shift i for inward selection and we will delete that and hit ctrl d to deselect it press v for selection 2 so as you guys can see now this is a separate thing now if you zoom in over here as you guys can see some portions are still remaining so press E on your keyboard to select your magic eraser tool if you click on it you will get this third one over here and we will simply delete this okay and we will check out as you guys can see over here also there is one okay so I don't think uh, anything else is remaining so now we will save this file as a photoshop only and if you want then you can save this file as a png also so now let's go to the uh, after effects and let's create a new composition i will call it as main animation weight is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 and duration is 10 second and hit ok and go to choose grid and guide option and hit on add to selection now press ctrl i on my keyboard i'll select this uh, ps file and i don't uh, choose any photoshop sequence and footage layer, composition written size layer simply import and hit ok so i have this file over here now select this file press s and let's move this over here press s for scaling option i'm going to unlink this and i'm going to make it minus 11 so it will go over here like this press r for rotation and i'll rotate it a little bit like this now i'll move this over here and somewhere around over here now press y to select your pen behind tool and we will adjust the anchor point of this one over here and let's move this initially over here like this okay then press p for position select click on this position right click choose separate dimensions now press ctrl r to get this ruler and we will bring this one line over here we are going to choose this as a reference layer and okay i mean reference line not a layer and let's move this over here now let's create one keyframe at x position zoom in go to around 20 seconds i mean 20 frames and I'm going to move this over here so if I see I'll get something like this and at 10 uh, 1.10 frames I'm going to select this first key frame I hit ctrl c ctrl v like this now go over at the start click one on my position go over here create one key frame go over here create another key frame now go properly at one second and now we will bring this upward like this okay and now we will select this keyframes and we will hit f9 but if you see over here the corners are quite weird so let's go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit select this by holding shift move this handle over here like this and move this handle over here okay now we will select this handle hold shift let's move it like this select this and let's move this like this okay so make sure that your graph should look like this so if I see, I'll get something like this. Let's select this and let's move this a little bit. Okay. Now we need to do some rotation animation for this. Now select this, press R for rotation. Let's create one keyframe and hit U. Now hit page down button two times and see, click on your W. So we will get this rotation tool and we will rotate it like this. Make sure the tip of this should touch this line again hit page down button and again 
move this like this hit page down button and move totally like this hit page down button we'll move this like this hit page down button and at this point which is over here we should move totally like 90 degree now hit page down button let's move this over here again hit page down button two times let's move this over here page down button two times move this over here page down button two times and now at this point we will move it like this and at this point i'm going to select this first keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v as you guys can see so we will get this proper animation like this okay now go to the start and again create one keyframe so if you see this animation we will get something like this okay and if you think that this is um, uh, what we call quite uh, over closer to this uh, line so you can simply at this point you can move this over here this line i mean at y position like this okay let's go over here and at this point i will move this a little bit over here at this point let's move this over here okay now go to the start alt click on this icon type loop out expression on it sorry hit ctrl a ctrl c to copy alt click on this one again hit ctrl v ctrl v so we are basically typing loop out expression on them like this okay now let's select this shoe hit ctrl d hit u and we will move this over here so now we will get this kind of animation now after that select both of them and click on this motion blur icon so along with this animation we will get motion blur also but due to that uh, it will get a little bit of heavy to preview properly so you can uh, see this animation in third resolution or fourth resolution so you will get something like this now select both of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as walking shoes and hit ok hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s earning this let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downward like this and move this downwards okay press p for opacity and let's make the opacity 20 okay so if i see this animation i will get something like this okay and now there is another thing you can do now initially the color of this one is white uh, you can choose whatever color you want like this so now initially let's choose red one now when this is gonna touch this like over here so i want the color should be changed so let's go to around 20 frames i'll press ctrl shift d to split this ctrl shift y to open the solid settings and over here i'm going to change the color of this one to purple and hit ok so if i see i'll get something like this now after 1.10 frames press ctrl shift d again and instead of that let's uh, select this and delete it now let's select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here and then press ctrl shift y and now over here we need to select the purple color hit ok then go over here hit ctrl d let's move this over here or initially instead of red i'm going to choose white color only okay at this point select this At last, I'm going to choose my white color again. Hit OK, and over here, I'll or instead of that, uh, instead of choosing this white color, I'll add my animation over here. So now, if I see at each and every point, I'm gonna get this change. And if you want, then you can uh, remove this what we call reflection also if it looks weird to you. And otherwise, you can simply select this and let's make this opacity a little bit less like this. 
so yep this is how you can create this kind of looping animation and if you want then you can add whatever text you want also for example i'm going to select this text and i'm going to type looping i select this text i will go to the uh, font i'm going to choose also font because this is quite sketchy font increase the distance and i'll choose white color let's select this press ctrl echo let's go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and i'm going to make it something like this and let's move this over here okay so i'll get this kind of animation let's go to the character tag for the this let's choose lighter version okay so i'll do something like this now select this hit ctrl d bring this at the top and now delete this fill and i'm going to choose stroke to and stroke width i'm going to choose let's say point one okay so i'll get something like this now select this press t and let's decrease this opacity of this scope letter and uh, i think we should delete that it doesn't look good with this animation so if this is how you can create this looping animation and at, uh, if you don't want to include that white color thing over here so you can but this is how you can create this looping animation or instead of that let's not include that part because we cannot see the text over here so i'll go over here and i'll press b so now my animation is only from here to here okay let's move this over here okay so this is going to be my final output so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned